Now, before I continue, I realized I made a pretty stupid mistake. And that has to do with the RX and TX LED that's on here. Let me grab the schematic. Now, on the FTDI chip, CBUS 1 and CBUS 2 are by default set as pins to connect LEDs to. So you can see whether there's transmitting or receiving going on. So far, so good. But these pins sync an LED to ground. I did, however, connect them to VCC. But as you can see, the LEDs are the wrong way around. The cathode is connected to VCC. Now that's never going to work. So I have desoldered the two LEDs, flipped them around, and now they should be fine. Now before I can do anything with this, I have to upload the JTAG to UPDI sketch to the Atmega 328P. And before I can do that, I need to burn a bootloader. This is where this ISP header comes in. Looking at it this way, so pin one being the top left pin, it goes MISO, VCC, clock, MOSI, reset, and ground. And to program the Admega chip, I have a, another programmer, and this is a bit of a mess in a video I did a while ago, I converted this to one of these clamp style programmers to program a surface mount AT Tiny. So I had to solder on some jumper wires or breadboard wires so I could use this with the ISP header that's on here. So let me hook this up and after that we will open up the Arduino IDE. All right, this is hooked up. Now in the Arduino IDE, I go to tools and as the board, I select the Arduino Uno. As the programmer, I'm selecting the USB tiny ISP. And then all I have to do is burn bootloader. Now hold on to your hats because this is going to go pretty quickly and that's it that was real time and we have successfully burned a bootloader to the at mega now the next thing I have to do is upload the JTAG to UPDI programmer to the at mega so I can use it as a UPDI programmer now to do this, you have to go to github.com slash ltangus slash jtag to UPDI. I'll put a link down in the description below. Download this as a zip file and extract that folder into your library folder. Now when you've downloaded that and extracted it, you go to the folder where you extracted it. In my case, it's in Documents Arduino, but that's because I have in my preferences set up that particular folder to be my sketchbook location. Once you're there, the only thing you have to do is double click that file and it will open up in the Arduino IDE. Now the sketch itself is empty and that is no problem at all because everything we need is in all these other files. And the advantage, we don't have to change anything. The only thing we have to do is make sure we've selected our board, which is the Arduino Uno, and selected the programmer to be the USB tiny ISP. Now, if you hit upload right now, it will fail. And just to demonstrate that, I'll hit upload. 
it starts compiling the sketch, which takes a bit of time. Let me make this a bit bigger. And it says, can't open device, problem uploading to board. Now the way to get around this is to upload using programmer. And there are two ways to do this. The first one is under sketch and then upload using programmer. Or you can hold down the shift key and then click upload. And it also says there, upload using programmer. And that's it done. We now have the JTAG to UPDI sketch on the Atmega. Now we can disconnect our ISP programmer and use this as a UPDI programmer. Now as an example, I am going to use one of my ATtiny3217 breakout boards. And there is a bit of a discrepancy in that on this board, I don't know how visible that is, on this board, the header goes ground UPDI VCC. And since that, I changed it to be in a different order. And that's because when VCC and ground are on the outside pins, like they are on this board, it's quite easy to reverse some connection you have and reverse the polarity. Now by doing it this way, if the middle one is VCC, no matter which way around I connect my jumper wires, VCC is always VCC. So I'm not shorting anything out. Now I've connected the ATtiny 3217 breakout board to the UPDI controller. Uh, VCC goes to VCC, ground to ground and UPDI to UPDI. Couldn't be simpler. Next thing, I have to plug it in. And as you can see, there's already a blink sketch on this breakout board, but to see if it actually works, I'm going to change the blink sketch to a bit of a faster blink. Now I'm using the Mega Tiny Core, which is written by Spence Conde, uh, also known as Dr. Razzi. And to install that into the Arduino IDE, open up the Arduino, go to Preferences, Click this little thing over there and include the link you just copied. Then hit OK and another OK. Now the next thing you have to do is to go to Tools, do Board, and then Board Manager. And then type in Mega Tiny. Well, there it is. Now I've already installed this. And as you can see, I'm using version 1.15 at the moment. Once you've installed that, I go to Tools, Board, all the way down. I have a lot of boards installed. And there is the Mega Tiny Core and ATtiny 3217. Select that. And then the defaults are all set like this and you can pretty much leave them like that. If you want to experiment with the I2C pins, for example, or the SPI pins or with the EEPROM being retained or not retained, you can play around with this. But the only thing I have to do is on the chip, select the ATtiny 3217 and on the port, select COM16, which is, in my case, this UPDI programmer. As a programmer, I am going to select JTAG to UPDI, 
and then all I have to do is hit upload. Well, this didn't go as planned. Um, I've written a simple sketch blinking an LED or what I thought would blink an LED. And to make my life easier, I written this and then copied that line, line nine to line 11. And my plan was to change this high to low so it would blink, but I left it there. So now it's high, 500 milliseconds delay, high again, and looping that forever, meaning this LED is constantly on. So I'm gonna change line 11 to low, and then we should have a blinking 80 tiny 3217. And there it is, blinking once a second. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and also hitting the notification bell. For now, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Bye bye.